Hello YouTube, Mailcat Lady here. So I'm doing a little EK cryofuel coolant concentrate video review, um, kind of mini review. It's going to be a kind of a long term thing since it's a pretty new coolant to the market. Um, well, and uh, while I'm recording this, I don't know what I did wrong, but I completely screwed up the audio. So hopefully this isn't too annoying, but I'm going to have a voiceover over myself. So it's not going to match up and it's probably going to suck and it's probably going to be really annoying. But I did want to talk about this cryofuel since I haven't really seen many people talk about it or haven't really seen anything much about it in the news of the computer world, you know. Um, but it's a new coolant that's non-toxic. It has like biocides in it and anti-corrosive properties. So it's pretty, I think it's a pretty cool product. Um, I can't, I was really excited to try it. I really wanted to, uh, paid $9.99 per concentrate. You can buy a 900 milliliter premix for $16.99. Got them on performance PCS down in Florida. Um, and I just was really excited to try this product out because I want something in my loop that will prevent, you know, if, if you're using different blocks or different uh, radiators, different metals, you know, you know, and you got different types of tubing and stuff like that or what, I, what have you. I wanted something that's kind of easy to use and something that won't screw up my loop, but, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, had a little bit, so I didn't have to use kill coils or anything else like that. Just a one and done kind of fill it up and move on. So in this video here, I uh, mixed uh, my own distilled water that I have here that I bought at a store. And I got a couple navy blues and a blood red of the EK cryofuel. Um, and I just mixed 900 milliliters into my jug here of distilled water and kind of dumped in the concentrate. It's a 9 to 1 mix ratio. It's kind of weird, but you know, you can just kind of do what you need to do as far as that goes. Um, and then I'll have another video too, because you're probably wondering why I have two blue and one red. Uh, I wanted to make for the computer in this featured in this video, I was going to do blue for it. So I got the blue fans and stuff. Um, and then I was going to mix the red and the blue together in the other one to make purple. So, um, in this video here, I'm going to show kind of what it looks like while I'm adding it into the distilled water so you can get kind of an idea of the color. The color looked really good in the jug once I put it in the loop. Uh, it seemed like it got a little, probably diluted down or maybe it was just the hoses were kind of thin so it looked kind of lighter that way. But I, overall, I still think it's a good-looking color. Um, I, for me, I didn't. I wasn't looking for the darkest of dark blues. I was really, honestly, buying this product for the kind of just fill up your loop, and you know, for the lifespan that they advertise of a year. Uh, that's kind of the maintenance they say. You know, ref, you know, the shelf life of it. So drain the loop, refill it in the year, kind of thing. Um, so, but I really kind of wanted something that was one and done, just simple, and just fill your loop up and be on your way kind of thing. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about the CPU block, the radiator, the pumps, the hoses getting kind of, you know, crudded up with whatever might want to try and grow in the loop. So here we are filling up the uh, reservoir, getting ready to turn it on. It's going to suck it all through. So... Overall, yeah, I like the color. I want to say the product is pretty good. I haven't used it for very long. As you can see in this video here right now, there's still some distilled water still in there. I got to figure out a better way to. I got to figure out how to do the drain and stuff like that so I can have a better maintenance thing. I'm pretty sure I put a thing in the wrong spot on this loop. Kind of dumb. But whatever. Learning process, right? So I'm learning, trying to get this straightened out with this loop, but. Uh, I just wanted, I still have plenty left over. This loop did not take nearly as much as I thought it would either, so I'm pretty happy that I still have plenty left over that I can use. But uh, this is a 360 mil radiator, 
with two CPU blocks and a, I believe the reservoir is like 150, something like that. I can't remember. XSPC um, Ion or something like that, I think it's called. So, but yeah, so I haven't really seen anyone else talk about this product, so I wanted to kind of share it with people and see, you know, maybe it'll help steer people into buying it. I would probably recommend it so far, but obviously it's going to be a while before I can actually give this product a full test since it does have a year lifespan. Uh, my, my CPU blocks and everything work clean and clear on this server build here. So I'd be curious to see, and I will update in the future if I do notice anything uh, out of the ordinary that does appear. So, but uh, as you can see, it's probably hard to tell from the video, but the color did lighten up a little bit. If you're expecting your super dark blue, you might need to, you know, dilute have like a less diluted mix i don't know they don't rec i mean they recommend nine to one but maybe you can go a little bit darker maybe you can get their uh pre-mix and maybe that would be a better bet than just mixing with straight distilled water even though i'm sure their pre-mix is distilled water as well or some variant but regardless maybe the just the pre-mix is better if you want a more rich vibrant color but overall i'm pretty happy with this so yeah, check back later if you want to see, you know, if I notice anything different. So hit that like, subscribe button if you want to follow this and if you like this video. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned uh, for the purple EK cryo fuel that I made.